Okay, I'm now here on a ridge. This ridge right here, this is called Mount Washington. Okay, off into the distance, you can see Washington's headquarters where he stayed during the Battle of Brandywine. It's right across the road. If you see, that's Baltimore Pike. Now, over a little further up the hill into that uh, embankment over there, that's the battlefield itself, the protected battlefield. Battlefield that's, uh, that the state owns. Now, Washington headquarters would have been over here. Where I'm standing right now, this is Mount Washington. Now, Washington would have been here. He would have stayed here during the battle. He would have had his spyglass with him. He would have had his aides of camp with him. He would have stood here and observed troop positions over to the west, which is this way. Now, generally, this area would have been a plowed hill. It kind of still is. Now, uh, above us, there's some power poles here, and there's uh, this is a protected area. Now, where I'm standing right now, this is posted. I'm very lucky today to get to stand exactly where Washington was. Uh, the gate was left open, and I was allowed to film here today. But uh, the vantage point of uh, today is we have a ridge here. It's higher than the surrounding grounds. This ridge where I'm standing goes a little bit higher. For about 100 yards, it'll go up at this, this embankment until you reach the pinnacle of the top of this, this Mount Washington. Now, during this time, uh, generally, uh, probably around September 3rd, the house that you see in the distance with the white windows, that's the Benjamin Ring House. That was Washington's headquarters. Now, he used these headquarters as his main uh, uh, staging area for the Battle of Brandywine. He placed a line from that building. He had his aides to camp in that building. Now, generally, Washington would have had a horse. It was uh, the, in paintings. It's a white horse. He would have rode his horse a lot in this area. He would have checked out the area. He would have seen that this ridge was right across from his headquarters, which is right over there. Now he was up here during the troop movements during uh, down Baltimore Pike. When the German Hessians came down Baltimore Pike, there were skirmishes all along from Kenneth Meeting House all the way up into the Brandywine Creek. Now he saw that. He was on top of this ridge with his spyglass and he saw for about two miles in the distance, he saw uh, Chad's Peak, which we were talking about before. Now Chad's Peak was a ski resort in the, in the 80s, but Chad's Peak played a major role in the Battle of Brandywine. That's where uh, Maxwell's Light Infantry advanced and, and, and then retreated to. He saw that. He knew that that was going on. He knew that the troops were coming down Baltimore Pike from this area where I'm standing right now. Now I'm going to pan the camera around so you can get an idea about Mount Washington itself. As you see in the distance uh, where my vehicle was behind you, you could see the ridge that extends higher above this plateau here. That's where Washington would have been. He would have been in this area also. Now, another interesting aspect about this area was that uh, about five years ago, uh, some uh, amateur archaeologists came to this area. They didn't come to any part of the battlefield. They came to this area. What they were looking for was things that maybe Washington would have left here, things that fell from his horse, things like that. Now, they did find uh, a lot of beer bottles. They thought that the American Army drank a lot of beer because they didn't really see too much here. But they did find one interesting artifact here. They found a ramrod uh, from a first pattern brown bass musket. It was the brass end of the ramrod. Now what that did was the it would have been at the end of the, of the ramrod. They would have put the ball in the powder in and they would have used this ramrod to push the ball down. They found the end of that ramrod that was found in this area where I'm standing right now. 
Now, uh, you have to have a permit. Uh, the state gave uh, these archaeologists a permit to find some artifacts to put in the state archives. Now, like I said, nothing really of significance was found on this hilltop. But the, the historical uh, importance of this hilltop is that Washington was here. He, he, he wasn't very far. If you look in the distance, you'll see Washington's headquarters. It wasn't a far ride to get here. And he could traverse this area very efficiently. He could ride up and down the Brandywine from this area here. And plus, he wasn't as really near the Brandywine Creek. The Brandywine Creek is off to my west. It's about a quarter of a mile away, but it's still uh, he's still able to observe troop movements for, through uh, from this area. Now, nothing's really changed very much here. Uh, basically, a lot of the bushes have grown, the trees have grown. Farming ceased around here during the 1940s. They stopped farming the area. This would have been a plowed hill, but you would notice that every time that you went on top of the hills, you could see for miles because all the area was plowed. There was no other area that was plowed here. But this is Mount Washington, and this is where Washington would have stayed with his aides de camp and, and observed the battle during uh, the morning of September 11th, the afternoon of September 11th, also 1777.